What's up guys, it's Paralyzer, and today I wanted to make a small guide talking about Asheran. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. I'm currently in queue for Asheran. I've been in queue for like two hours now, so I'm probably not getting in tonight, but I still want to make you guys the guide. So I'm just going to explain some of the things with Asheran. Um, basically, in Asheran, you want to you wanna get your Guardian, which is either Fangirl or the Rock Dude for the Horde. I don't know his name. Um, or her name. Um, and then what you'll do is that costs a thousand artifacts. Artifacts spawn, <clears throat> or sorry, artifacts are in mob spawns all over the map. So like if you go kill mobs, um, you'll, you'll farm artifacts basically. And then you can turn them in at the vendors and storm shield. Um, and that will basically get you your guardian and your guardian will help you fight. He'll walk towards war spear and you guys will clash and you'll fight and he'll help you kill all the baddies. Right. Uh, other things to know are that farming is really important and there's events that you should look out for while you're in Ashran. Um, events are two little swords on the map, so when you press M, you should kind of keep an eye on that. Um, because if there is the two swords, you have a chance to get like 300 honor, maybe a, a chest to help you get another set, piece of PvP gear. This is by far the quickest way to get PvP gear. Um, it's super easy to get PvP gear this way. You basically follow the crowd and just kind of run through stuff. Um, so yeah, look look for events that can happen in Brute's Rise, Amphitheater, Ring of Conquest, Ash Mall, and Molten Quarry, also in Seed of Corlock. <clears throat> um, those will basically give you the most honor while you're farming up um, Fangar, or Fangral, and the rock person for the Horde. Um, the other, the two big things I wanted to talk about are that making sure that you do Seed of Corlock every time it's up if you're in Ashran. The reason for that is he gives 300 honor, maybe more. You have a chance to get a chest piece, or not a chest piece, but um, a chest to get a piece of PvP gear, and he gives 25 conquest multiple times a day. As in, there's no wait time. You can do him every time he's up. There is a wait time. There's no cooldown. Um, so you can do him every single time he comes up. And he'll also help you fight, so you can take him into War Spear and fight your way through. Um, killing Valroth, or the troll dude, um, the troll leader, is really important because he gives you 725 honor, 335 conquest, and a chance to get an epic piece of PvP gear or two blue pieces. So making sure you get that done is huge, at least once a day. And then you can repeatedly farm him throughout the day if you have a good enough team you know, throughout the day. And you will get 600 to 500 honor every time you kill him. So making sure you do that is really important. And that's pretty much going to do it. Just a little mini guide for you guys. Hopefully it will help some of you guys gear up when you get to 100. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.